<laughs> it's crazy. Shout out to Ari from Tokyo. It's nuts, man. I just came across some sh I just came across some sh on Twitter, man. It's just downright disrespectful. It is crazy. We knew that they were behind. They were, they were planting behind the scenes. They were at the round table. They were like, oh man, what are we gonna do? We don't got value to provide. So what are we gonna conjure up to stir some fallacies and drama and just false hope to the community? And it's like, it's nuts, man. And it's sad to see that people bought the bullshit. And as somebody who's been up for 40 hours straight, given the Stargate members are white glove service, they're getting the creme de la creme, and over here they're serving up fallacies, and they're getting a cut, and you can't even approach them for a legal remedy. It's nuts. It is so nuts. Shout out to Blockchain Backer. Shout out to Ari from Tokyo. Shout out Digital Asset Investor. Shout out King Solomon. Shout out Darren Moore. I mean, I like to classify myself as an OG because I was watching them from the jump. Right when they I remember I was top 100 of Blockchain Backer subscribers. I was watching Ari from Tokyo popping those, that champagne, that pink bubbly, celebrating the fluff at the end. like. I don't watch people nowadays because we're too busy providing value and content and giving that white glove service to our, our members there. But man, it's just sad to see as far as, as there's so many good researchers and so many good people in this community actually working for free, trying to provide value to this whole decentralized community of the XRP community. And it's just sad to see these snake oil salesmen just pop up on the scene with some crazy stuff like I was seeing I don't I don't even know details all I've seen is just hundred thousand dollar XRP 500,000 XRP buyback proposal red folders confidential committee I don't even know who's on the committee all I know is that it's a bunch of BS I mean that's just some of the shit that we preach at Stargate that we're trying to get away from as far as false hope waiting holding hoping that the buyback will happen Right? Who wants to be it?